like GCSE Biology, syllabus statement 260. I'm going to call this 260A, and we're going to be focusing on phagocytosis. So the process begins with very distinct white blood cell. And we can recognize this because it has a lobed nucleus, not the, not the spherical uh, nucleus you would expect. So it looks like that. And it can defend us against things like bacterial infection in our bloodstream. So here we have a bacteria. The white blood cell can detect the presence of the bacteria because of chemicals which the bacteria gives off. And the consequence of this is that the phagocyte, the white blood cell, this one's called this type of white blood cell is called a phagocyte. Phagocyte. Phago meaning feeding and site is a cell. And what happens is that the chemical stimulus starts the cell to extend itself around the bacterial cell like this. We have to think three dimensionally for this process. So these extensions are called pseudopodia uh, pseudo false a podia food so false food and they extend oops they extend around the bacteria so if we move this on to the next stage Our bacteria is now enclosed by the cell membrane is all the way around here but what's going to happen is that when the membrane here touches it's going to fuse this is very similar to the way in which detergent bubbles fuse together in children's games and that's going to lead to the next stage which is that the white cell like this and we have the bacteria enclosed by membrane and this structure here is called the vesicle I've left out the nucleus for clarity and there's the bacteria and the next step is that the bacteria, uh, sorry, the white cell will introduce enzymes, digestive enzymes in here and that will destroy the bacterial cell. And to complete our description, what often happens is that the white cell will then excrete and release the fragments of their bacteria like this. Phagocytosis, the first line of defense.